Shooting a professional looking product commercial might sound like a really daunting task, but I'm gonna show you why it's actually way easier than you think. So today I'm gonna to be shooting a product commercial for Dior Sauvage Cologne, and I'm gonna be doing this on my working desk, which you can see behind me right here. And I'm not even gonna be using fancy equipment like sliders or probe lenses or even macro lenses. I'm literally just gonna use a tripod and creative lighting. For the shoot, I'm gonna be using two new lights from Xi'an, and the first one is the F100. Now this is a 100 watt light and it is super bright. It can do a variety of different color temperatures of white. It has full RGB capabilities and it's got a bunch of built-in presets for effects. The next light we're using is the M40 and this is also battery powered, but it has an output of 40 watts instead. Definitely the brightest light of this size I've ever used. It's got fully adjustable power output as well as color temperature. And it's also got this little handle on the side which you can use to adjust its angle. The first shot here we're doing is super simple. We've got the F100 on the ground bouncing some blue light on the wall for a background effect. And then all I'm doing is moving the M40 around to cast a shadow across the bottle as I move the light. For the next shot, I'm using the barn doors and the grid diffuser, which are really easy to attach to the F100. And this is gonna give you a much more directional light source. By rotating the light around the bottle, we can get these really cool directional shadows and a bit of that blue from the liquid inside reflecting onto the ground. This next one, we're still using the grid diffuser and using the blue light, all I'm doing is sliding it right past the bottle so that you get these streaks of reflections through the glass. When you're shooting slow motion, you have to use a really high shutter speed, so you need a lot of light. So for this shot, I basically just put the bottle right on top of the M40s with maximum brightness, and that allowed me to get a perfect exposure with a low ISO value and just created this gorgeous image. So next I wanted to incorporate some of the ingredients of the cologne into the video. Citrus is a major component, so I decided to cut open an orange and do some epic slow motion shots with it. Of course, for this slow motion, you need a lot of light. So I set up two F100s on either side of where I was gonna be spinning the orange. And I got these really cool slow motion shots and I was able to expose at 100 ISO, which means I still get this really clean image, even though it's in super slow motion. Next, I needed to do some shots of vanilla pods. So I used the F100 with the barn doors to bounce some blue light off the back of the wall. And then I'd used an M40 to brighten up the vanilla pods as much as possible. This next shot was really simple. I just used the F100 with barn doors and rolled the bottle towards the camera using the AF tracking to get it in focus. For this shot, I used the F100 on its side again and I used the M40 in the air just roaming around the bottle. And this really shows how easy it is to create beautiful product shots like this if you have a good little lighting setup with you. One of the final shots, I used the built-in rainbow effect on the F100 and I actually really like how this came out. I thought I wouldn't use something like this, but I really like how it turned out and I decided to use it in the final edit. This shot is kind of similar, but I used the static rainbow built-in effect on the F100 and I just moved the light all around the bottle with the grid diffuser on to get these really interesting and cool reflections and I really like how this came out. So I've managed to glue the F38 quick release plate on the bottom of the bottle. So now I'm gonna mount this on my Weeble 3 gimbal and I'm gonna try to do some really dynamic shots like this with the gimbal. For these gimbal shots, I used the F100 with the barn doors to reflect some blue light onto the background. And then I used the M40 in the foreground just to light up the bottle from the front so you could read the text properly. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and a look at the behind the scenes of how it was created. If you're interested in getting any of these products I used, then you can find their latest pricing in the links in the description below. Let's see that final edit one more time. Just wait, I'm about to go like bigger, bolder, faster.